it gives me great joy to introduce our next cutting machine, our most personal cutting machine. And we're calling it, rightfully so, the Cricut Joy. The Cricut Joy was designed with all crafters in mind. So for those of you that already own an explorer or two or a maker, you may not think you need or want this machine, but I'm telling you, you're wrong. So let's talk about something exciting. Cricut users have been requesting matless cutting for years. And guess what? It's finally here, which is pretty exciting. The question that we have to answer is this. Is the Cricut Joy a good addition to our homes? So my first impression is yes. Remember I talked about the pins being smaller, so if you're looking for additional pins, additional colors, or tips, look for the Cricut Joy to be on the label, and the packages should look something like this. Permanent and removable. There's a smart iron on. We've got a regular and a glitter here. It's also available, I believe, in patterned and holographic. I announced this brand new machine called the Cricut Joy. Again, we're really excited about Cricut Joy and hope, you know, you get to enjoy it as well and you know, have as much fun as we did in making Cricut Joy. Yeah. What's up you guys? So I really wanted to come on here and give you my honest opinion about the new Cricut machine called the Cricut Joy. I have been seeing everywhere on YouTube that people have been receiving their sponsored um, Cricut Joys in the mail and they've been reviewing it and sharing why you should get it and all the positives that they feel is in this machine and I have been watching all of these videos trying to find more positives and I really haven't found that many positives. The Cricut Joy has a couple positives in my head but most of it is negatives the positives i feel like the very first positive it's the obvious it's tiny you can take it with you anywhere um but there's only a few people i think that really take their cricket places other than just using it at home so i guess it's really geared toward people who work in the business of organization like go to people's houses and make labels for them and won't know exactly what they're gonna need until they get there. Beside people who are in organization, I really think that the only maybe other person who would want to use this often are like soccer moms, <laughs> like soccer moms on the go. Um, I mean, like maybe they're part of a crafting club and they need to take it with them, which is fine. And you could be that person and I don't mean you any negativity. I think that's awesome and I, I want to be a part of a crafting club. But um, it's just such a small demographic, I feel like, of people who actually use Cricut that the small size of it doesn't seem to be much of a pro. The other pro that I feel like for this particular machine is that you can cut much longer strips of vinyl. I think that's probably really cool um, addition that you can cut really long banners and you won't have to do it in pieces. It's a pro and it's also just a, you know, it, it calls to a very specific demographic. So if you're someone who actually uses that, needs a long banner all the time, um, I would have to be someone who, who uses it as a business because honestly, I don't think people normally do that often. So that's probably the other pro. Now, those were the only two pros for me. The negatives are kind of a longer list, and I think a lot of it has to do with the whole new line of products that they came out with. They're really trying to push the Cricut Joy as something that can be used matless, so you can put in your vinyl into the machine and you don't need a mat for it. The problem with this is that you don't need a mat for your Cricut Explorer Air, you don't need a mat for your Cricut Maker, and I'm going to be showing you at the end of this video how you can just cut vinyl without a mat. The whole thing is just a little silly to me. Um, another thing is that they came out with a whole line of new pens, um, new tools. The only reason they came out with new tools so that it matched the color of the new machine. The new pens, I really hope work with the, like, I really hope you can use the old pens with 
the new machine, the, the Joy, because that would be even worse if you can only use the new pens with the new machine and then you have to buy two separate types of pens for two different machines. And I also hope that you can still use the Crayola marker hack with the Cricut Joy. It's just, I just feel like they're money grabbing. I feel like they're doing this to sell more. I just don't really see the point of the new types of vinyl. I don't see the point of the adhesive paper. Um, the adhesive paper, I feel like, is a fancy term for sticker. My number one con is that it's almost $200. Like, this machine should not be almost $200. It's tiny, and it doesn't even do as much as the other things, and it's only $50 less. That's not enough for me to feel like it's uh, that much. Like, if this machine was maybe $70, it would make sense, but this machine is almost $200. A $70 machine that you could take anywhere, and it cuts perfectly, and it connects to your phone Bluetooth, like, that's awesome. I think that's super, super cool. But a $200 machine? That just doesn't seem like the right price for it. <laughs> I also really don't like the color. The color, teal, they should have, I think they should have stuck with their pastel line. I really am not really digging the teal. I think the teal is like a little bit more young, a little bit like of a, I feel like it was like a hip color in like 2008 and now like we're in 2020 and that's not a hip color anymore. Um, I feel like the pastels like just look better on your table and if you're gonna have it out all the time um, I mean it's nice to have it look nice um, I feel like that's one of the least negatives about this machine but it's still something to mention and another negative is that they're really pushing the whole card making cards and being able to cut cards without having to unfold the card I feel like they should have instead maybe made like an attachment for their other mats that you can slide the card into and I feel like that sh that would have been really easy and it would have been just a piece of plastic. I feel like there's a way to do that without having to buy the mat for the cards and I'm gonna be experimenting and trying to figure out a way you could just do it with a Cricut Air to do folded cards and envelopes and different things like that. So. If that's really a demand and people really want to know how to cut things that are already folded. I think that there's an, a way to do it. I feel like that that's not unachievable to do on any other Cricut without a mat. Why? 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 None of this makes sense. So I'm not looking forward to this new launch. I feel like it's probably the worst launch since they came out with the mini Easy Press. The mini Easy Press was so funny to me that they came out with like a literal iron shaped like an iron and called it something different and sold it for a bunch of money just so that you can iron on mugs and hats easier. Um, but you can still do that with the other machines. So I really, 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 I just never understood that. I feel like the Cricut Joy might be even worse of a launch just because it just screams money grabbing to me. It just makes me feel like Cricut is trying to make more money on things that people don't really need. And that makes me really upset and I don't really like that. So I just wanted to come on here and give my honest opinion about that. There's really not much more to say about it. I don't know if I'm gonna bother trying the machine. Um, I know I could just buy it, try it, and then return it if I really, really wanted to, but I don't see a point. I don't see a point to it. The only thing is that if you have a business and you don't have a Cricut yet, I feel like that's probably the only reason I would buy it. If you have an organization business where you go to people's houses and you make labels for them and you don't already own a Cricut, I would go for the Cricut Joy because you can make labels and it's easy. I would not buy the smart vinyls. I would not buy the vinyls that are specifically the size of your Cricut Joy because you would save so much more money buying bigger sheets of vinyl, you would get more vinyl for a less price. That's my review of the Cricut Joy. I hope you guys enjoyed an honest um, opinion. Oh, I don't know if it's an un unpopular opinion. I have only seen, I saw Auntie Tay's kind of, um, I think it was like a live video, but I didn't see it live. Um, she, she reviewed it and it was, 
a pretty similar opinion, I would say, to me. So let me go ahead and show you how to cut vinyl without a mat on a regular Cricut Air. And we'll just ignore the fact that there's a Cricut Joy. We don't need a Cricut Joy. We're better than Cricut Joy. We have our Cricut Air and she can cut vinyl just as good without a mat than the Cricut Joy. So we don't need you, Cricut Joy. Okay, so I'm gonna be doing just a super easy um, cut. I just wanna show you how to do it. Um, I'm gonna do a new project, upload. Um, let's just do, I wanna do this Nazgot symbol. This is a video game symbol. So the easiest way to weed is if you actually put a square behind it. So I just add a square to it. I make it the same size. I send it to the back. Just make it the same size. So now you're gonna want to attach these two together so they're the same color. And now that is what it's gonna cut. Um, that just makes it easier to peel it out um, and put your transfer paper right where you're gonna want it. So we can just go to make it now, click continue. And now I'm gonna show you how to load your machine with just the vinyl. Okay, so the easiest way that you're gonna do this is just open up your Cricut. I cut a piece of, like a piece of folder. So this was a folder. And I just cut a little square out of it. Cause you just wanna kind of um, imitate the size of the mat. So this is essentially just a piece of cardstock that you're gonna put underneath your vinyl. All you have to do is cut the size of the vinyl that you need. This is all I'm gonna need for my project. I'm just gonna scotch tape it down. So I'm just gonna put the little piece of scotch tape on this. And then on this, I'm gonna put the vinyl. Just like that. So now it's just like a backing, I guess, for where it's gonna cut. Okay, go ahead and click make it on your computer and you just slide it into the machine like this with the backing on the bottom. And you just have to put it underneath the, um, the guider there and hold it there for a second while you press load. And now it's ready to cut. So go ahead and press cut. Unload it, take it out, it's cut the design now. So it's perfect, you can just, it's just scotch taped, you can just pick it off. My camera died there, but I just need to finish up showing you that I'm just weeding this out and it comes off super easy. I use Vinyl Plus for this as well. And that's it, so there's my little symbol. Just easily put some transfer tape. When you have a square like this, you just can put it right on top of everything. Okay, so now that I have my thing, I can just put it on anything. This is just my hard drive. All right, guys, so that's it. Um, it's super easy. Thanks for watching um, on the tutorial on how to just use vinyl in your Cricut if you don't have a mat. Um, it's super easy. I don't know why Cricut decided to come out with Smart Vinyl. It doesn't make any sense to me, but that's just how it goes sometimes. If you liked my unpopular opinion on the Cricut Joy, hit like, hit subscribe, join me on all the other tutorials that I come up with, and stick around. Till next time. Bye guys.